Welcome to Bros of Skull Hunting, episode 1.5. Yay! Yay! I'm Yay. <laughs> yeah! Huh? I'm here with... Um, this is Irvin. And Austin. And I'm Ashton. We don't have our other member today because some complications have come up. And as you can see, we're still recording on a camcorder. And we have a game capture device, except that we couldn't get it to run properly. So, for now, I guess we're using this again. Sorry for the bad quality, but we'll get better in no time. Yeah. Yeah. We miss you, Devin. <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing today? We're going to do the double Januka Plus. And portable Third! Yeah, we're playing Portable Third. We're probably some of the only people who are still doing this. Yeah, so let's go, guys. Excelsior. Yeehaw, I'm a cowboy. <laughs> Alright. Okay, everybody ready? I'm the guy with the Devil Joe armor. I'm gonna die pretty quickly. Eh. That's what's going on. <laughs> Without me. Oh. Okay, so what should be our. What is our topic today to talk about? Um. How about. How did you learn about Monster Hunter, and what were your first impressions? You know? Yeah. Sound good? Yeah? Yeah. That sounds good. Um... Who, wa who wants to go first? Not me. <laughs> Austin, you go first. Alright, I'll go first. Um, I was introduced to Monster Hunter in the Monster Hunter 1 era, because... Oh, Mr. Veteran over here. Because, uh... Ooh, the claw. I have to, gotta use the claw again. Ooh, wow. Because... I, because... I'm really trying to get out. My birthday landed on the same day as the release of Monster Hunter. And I got it for my birthday back in 2007. And it was... Which one? What Monster Hunter? Monster Hunter 1. Just Monster Hunter. Oh. The it original Monster out. Hunter. Monster Hunter. And it was a very good, very weird new game. I had no idea what to do. But uh, hacking and slashing monsters was always a good time. I can never find anyone else to play Monster Hunter with. So That's still a problem today. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it still really is. Right now, the American... Well, not, not American, but the audience of Monster Hunter in our lives is very small. Very small. And we're right? trying our best to recruit more hunters. But, yeah, I've been slowly climbing up the ladders, going to new generations of Monster Hunter. And now I'm playing things like 3D Unite, Portable Third, and uh, Monster to Try Ultimate. I am out of the three of us. I still don't have um, a 3DS, so I can't get Try Ultimate quite yet. But I am hoping to get a job quite soon. First thing I'm gonna do, man, is buy a 3DS and buy Try Ultimate because you know I need a new game. Because it's Try Ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've I've like spent a thousand hours total between my games. It's not too much, but still like a lot of time, and I want to just keep doing it. Monster Hunter Man. Free me night. Hashtag six hundred hours. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of time. Too much time. Okay. So Irvin, you should be next. Uh, okay. The first time I heard about Monster Hunter was my sophomore year in high school, which was three years ago, and. I have this friend named Gerald, and he was trying. He wanted me to. He wanted to mod my PSP, and I was against Oops. it. But he's like, "Dude, there's this game called Monster Hunter. Like, you should try it out." So I'm like, "Okay." So I started on Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I played the demo, and I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. My first impression was like, "What the hell is this? There's no lock-on system. <laughs> like, the hitboxes are broken. What's going on?" And like. Um, another friend of mine named Colin, he also played Monster Hunter Freedom of Night. He was actually like the second person who told me about it. And he was like, dude, don't worry, he gets better, I promise. And I had had my doubts, because like, when you're starting out, it's very grindy. It's just very annoying. And so like, I just kept playing at it. Then my first milestone, I think, was the, the Conga Lala. Like, when I- did, did you guys have that problem? Because when I first started playing Monster Hunter, the Kongalala was like the worst enemy ever. I could never beat him. I tried switching weapons several times. And like, I don't remember how I beat him either. The first hard monster I ever had to face in um, 
3D Unite was the Yangaruga, or the, uh, yeah. the purple Kutku Rathian. Yeah, Yangaruga. Yeah, it's, um... Oh, the other here! Oh, I've got it, I've got it. I think I've got it. No, nope, no, I don't got it. No, get out. Oh, oh I don't have dumb bombs. Does anybody have dumb bombs? Get of course, I have ten. Okay. Wait, oh, damn it! You the other okay, so as, as you were saying, Irvin. Gotcha. All right. Is, is that it, Irvin? Huh? What you What you said, like your milestone? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was saying the Kongalala was terrible to me, and once I finally managed to beat it, you, I got like the giant sense of accomplishment that you get with like the giant quest in this game. What is up but, with this? Like as soon as I beat the Kongalala, I'm like, yeah, you know, nothing can stop me now. I think I'm more experienced at this game. I can do it. Then I got to the Kezu, <laughs> and the Kezu was like the same thing over again. The it, Kezu it, was a pain. It made me rage quit for like months until I was playing the PSP, and I'm like, okay, I guess I remember, there's nothing else to do. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll pick this back up again. I remember those months, because that's about the time you met me, wasn't it? Uh, no, that was later, actually. Oh. Uh. That was... But anyway, um, yeah, like... And I didn't really know anyone else that played Monster Hunter except Colin back then, and he wasn't like around much anymore. So I kind of just tried to solo it, and eventually I finally defeated the Kezu. And by that point, I like got better with the Great Sword, which is like my dominant weapon. And which I, if you look at my Freedom Unite record, you'll see that it's like mostly Great Sword. It is like, like 500 Great Sword. It's like 500 Great Sword, and the rest is like. I don't one. think I've even touched any heavy bow gun in this game. I haven't. Any bow gun in this game I have not picked up. <laughs> Except me, maybe, me maybe arena quests, but other than that, no. <laughs> Alright, what about you, Ashley? Wait, I'm not, I'm not done now. Oh, you're not done? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Please forgive me. Um, yeah, and eventually I started, like, you know, oh, geez. playing Freedom of Night more. And that's when, like, oh, again, God. another friend. He's like, hey, there's a new PSP Monster Hunter game coming out. I'm like, what? And that's when I heard about Portable 3rd. And I was so hyped for it because I'm like, okay, this will be like Freedom of Night, but it's better and newer. But in it, Japanese. Yeah, and then, but it never came out in the US. So by that point, I had a modded PSP. And um, I finally found a ROM that had an English patch because I. Back then, I was like, I don't really want to play a game that's fully in Japanese. But I found a ROM. Yeah, Austin over here has like the legit version. Yeah, you don't want to play yeah. a game in full Japanese. You actually bought the game, which is, you know, I admire you for that. I did. I actually went online and purchased the game and waited a month to get it. <laughs> totally worth it, by the way. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh my God, and then, like, the day I got Portable 3rd was the day that Skyrim was released. So like, really? yeah, the day I got Portable Third was the day that Skyrim came out, and then, wow, that's like, that's pretty like, legit. I went on Facebook, and then it was just blowing up Skyrim, Skyrim, Skyrim. And you were just I, like, and I'm like, hey Monster guys, Hunter. see what this new Monster Hunter game, man? It's awesome. It's cooler. Oh, yeah, okay. and I noticed. A, oh, okay, sweet. Okay. I noticed a lot of things. Uh, this game is significantly easier. And oh, I did. I had never played Try, by the way. You completely jumped like the uh, intermediate. I, yeah, I went from uh, I went from Freedom Night to Portable Third, and then I went to Try. So like this, uh, the switch axe was new to me. The the, the new great sword, like the slap, and then the the smash charge, that was new to me. And then like the drooling and exhaustion on the monsters, that was also new. You went like so, yeah. hard mode. I went to hard mode, easy, to mode, easy mode to normal mode. To normal, yeah. So uh little yeah. little update guys, I got a jewel. Oh I haven't even been paying attention to what I've been doing. Okay. Cool. Uh but yeah, that's about it. And like once I get enough money, gonna get try ultimate. And then yeah, we can maybe move up to three D S. 3DS status. 3DS and Ash actually has a Wii U. 3DS and Wii U. Yeah, so... Cheated. Yeah, well... I like it better with people that I know other than um, online. Better Because I actually know them and I actually care about them. Other than, oh, it's online, so whatever. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. So, is, is it my turn yeah, to explain? 
Okay, so I was introduced to Monster Hunter by Austin here. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, um, the second year that I that like we knew each other, he showed me this game. It, it was Try too, which was pretty. I thought it was pretty cool, but I had no clue like what was happening. It was just. Like, oh my god, what am I doing here? Yeah, that's right. Like my very like my very first armor set was just a jumble of different armors. I think that's together. what it was for everyone else. Like you're just trying to get the defense number up that like you didn't really like pay attention to skills or like elemental resistance. You just wanted to get the defense number up. Oh no, I just wanted to look cool, so <laughs> Yeah, that's that's how it went. You you and Anthony were over at my house and I let him play Free and Unite while you played Try and Anthony was, was like, Whoa, this is weird and you were like your eyes grew about three three times in size and you're just like you little drool came out of your mouth and it's like this is amazing. But um so, but yeah, Try was actually my first game. The milestone that hit me the most was the bear off. Oh yeah. That I'm one was like, oh my god, that was the biggest milestone. I'm like, oh wait, this isn't just an easy game. It actually has to do with stuff. Like, that was like the milestone that like, destroyed me inside when I first played it. But see, at the time, when you were playing Try, I let you, I let you borrow it, and you didn't have internet at the time. So you were trying to go through the whole game without using internet. And I would, I would remember asking you if you wanted to hang out. It's like, no, I can't. I'm trying to beat this bear off. And you, yeah, I think you spent so. a good three months on it? It took me three months. Like, I didn't. I stopped for a whole month. And, like, the first time that I fought I it, I won. Actually. And I was just like, oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. You know, once you oh, start right, a game for so long with the great sword, up soon becomes, like, a very critical part of your combos. You know? But yeah, I, mean, I, I get to, it. I'm used to soloing. I'm sorry. Oh, it's alright. But, um, but with that, I got a PSP from Austin, and it was hacked. Hooked you up. With, yeah, he hooked me up, and I got Portable 3rd, but I was being stupid, and instantly it was deleted, because I upgraded the frame here. Oh, wow, you wow. died. Random urban death. But, yeah, so from that, I actually got, um, Free to Unite. Which, in case, is fun and hard and shit, so... But... But playing that game, which is one of like, the toughest things I've played, like, in a long time, it made me really think about, like, how I really should play Monster Hunter. Like, that's how I first learned my best weapon, which is Hunting Horn, even though I'm not using it right now. Shameful. And, like, Lance and everything. And then, when I got the chance to, I got I got a new PSP because I was trying to rehack my old my old one. And I think like the first one was a one thousand, and then this one I have is a two thousand. So, so you did make an upgrade. I did make an upgrade, and I got and like when I got rehacked, I got portable third, so I could play with like these guys and whatnot, as as you can see. And, but with that, I also, like, during the years, like, it got more fun because I was with these guys. We had some incredible moments. There was this one time where, um, we were fighting a Rathalos. I think you all remember this story. We were fighting a Rathalos, and then he was limping, and he was getting away, so Ashton used a lance and charged it. Oh, yeah. He, like, <laughs> and he knocked it over, and then he, like, just enough time for us to come and, like, knock it out and kill it. It's because we're cool like that. There's some, there's some pretty cool moments. Yeah. And, um, probably, probably my favorite moment in like my Monster Hunter career so far was also a Rathalos story. It was, uh, it was in. Oh yeah, this one. In, uh, oh god. It was in Ultimate Ashton, and uh, oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 I almost died. There's dude, 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 dude. healing that we should do because that's why I died. He like just attacked me. I've been healing this whole time. You guys haven't. I, I just forget to, because I keep attacking you. I should totally just get wide area and just be like, hey dudes, so... Limpin. Thank you, speed. No. But... <laughs> you can't make that turn. Oh, you did. But the way, the way it happened uh, is, um, 
We were fighting a regular Rathalos in the deserted island. And everything was going okay. No, it was a high rank one. We were yeah. kind of obliterating it. Mm -hmm. And me and Ashton talk, talk for a second and ask if we should capture it or not. And we say, uh, yeah, sure, let's try and capture it. So we go to its nest. Ooh, cut off the tail. Finally. We, we go to its nest and set a trap on where it usually lands. And we set some bombs down on the trap in case he wasn't ready to get captured. And what happened is he didn't land on the trap, but he flew over it. And as he was flying, like he was hovering he roared, above it with like all the bombs. He roared and over the bombs, over the bombs, and it blew them all up and killed him in midair. He died. It killed he him. Hit the ground, and it was so funny and so amazing. Even though we wasted a trap, but it was so. It was so it worth was it. Really, it was really. It was probably one of my. Most memorable experiences in Monster Hunter so far. Yeah, but um. Yeah, we did it. Also. Oh yeah. Yeah. Only one death. Uh, yeah, only one death, Irving. It would have been not yeah, if I kept, you know, you know, yeah, you, yeah, you and your Elder Dragon armor, and all of your super awesome weapons and stuff, and you were the one that dies. Yeah. Yeehaw. I forget to heal man, so. Okay, yeah, but um, yeah, like I have a Wii U. And a few months ago, I actually got a 3DS, so I have both versions of Troll to it. So I could play with these guys, like wherever I go. And cheat with people on the yeah. internet. Yeah. I, don't, I hardly do that. Anymore. I'm not trying to urgent. <laughs> <laughs> actually, funny story. <laughs> Two solo Alachion. Ooh. <laughs> funny story. Oh, hey guys. So uh, two I... Waver Gems. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Two Wavering Gems and okay. one Zenogre Jewel. Janooga. It's still Janooga. In this yeah, it is technically Janooga in this game. It is still Janooga to this day. I don't, I don't care. Yeah, like, um, once I've played Portable 3rd enough, like, it was kind of hard to call Janooga Zenogre and then, like, Hopper Aboka. Like, Nebel Snarf. Yeah. Nebel Snarf. <laughs> and then things like Eroshira. Like, um... Arz 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 Azuros. Arz 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 yeah, like Azuros. Azuros. Yeah. And then, um... Someone explain to me the whole Rodney thing. Um, it was originally... The way it worked is that I think they made... They wanted to make another, um, species like Great Jaggy and Great Baggy. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why they changed it from Great Raggy to Dos Rogi. But in... In the Japanese version, in Portable 3rd, it was Dos Rogi. Yeah, it was Rogi. And now it's Dos Rogi? And now Great Rogi? I guess? I don't know how it's supposed to go. Rogi, Rogi. Um, I don't... I don't... I really don't know. But yeah, so... So far... I, I've been enjoying myself with Monster Hunter with you guys. So... It's definitely been a game to bring people together. And murder yeah. monsters. Or together. hate each other. Yeah, or hate each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you guys want to hunt next in terms of hunting? If that made any sense whatsoever. Do you guys want to? Do you guys want to fight a Diablos? Do you guys want to do like a hunting horn thing? Oh my God! Here, yes. I, I got the quest. I know which quest. I know which quest. <laughs> Urban, Urban has bring cool evil drinks. ideas. Bring cool drinks. I'm not a fan of this already. Okay. You can bring a hammer if you want. Okay, good. We're gonna do the little oh, I'm so close. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. We're gonna do I'm the so little close. Christmas Kurapeka with the sun is a little Uragan. Uragan. A phantom Kurapeka is summoning the phantom Uragan. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm so close with making the Chinooka armor. What do you need? Uh, I just need some more cloth. I don't have the head unlocked, though. I think you need a gem for that. Yeah. Jewel. Jewel. Yeah. Gem, jewel, jewel. 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 The cloud of jewel. <laughs> well, I can almost upgrade the hammer. Nice. It's the one thing I. It took so much time to get one jewel, and I can't even upgrade it. I can't even upgrade anything. That. Dude, that sucks. You know. All right, so I think I'm going to go. You bring a hammer or a hunting horn just for the KO. Yeah, I'll get I'll get a KO. No, darn it. 
For the lollies. And hunting horn away! For the lollies. I uh, accidentally mixed up the circle button with the X button, Mike. and I accidentally just purchased a Tigrix Helm. Dude. Darn it. That sucks. Yeah. Okay, um, where is... Thing I'm... Okay, well, I have my hunting horn, so... Me too. Even though this is my only high rank one, I'm still working on it. But, um, yeah. What's another topic we can talk about? Oh, what our favorite monsters are, and why. Ooh. Hmm. You start, a, you start us off, Ashley. Okay, well, my favorite monsters... Are we monsters... talking about, like, regular large monsters, or, like, elder dragons, or... Monst monsters in general. It could be anything. Okay. Like, my favorite monster is Nuga, because... I think it's one of the coolest monsters out there. Yeah, man, like, um, when I first started playing Portable 3rd, first time I fought Janiga, I think it's the first Fang Wyvern? No, wait, the... Yeah, it is the first Fang like, Wyvern. Because it, it didn't move like a Tail Ostra or the Lunastra, so it was, like, it was a Fang Wyvern, and then it was just really weird fighting it. Sort of like, sort of like it was fighting the Bracky for the first time. It's like, oh, it's like something yeah. you hadn't done before, and you're still trying to learn Yeah, that, that was weird. That, that was a weird time. Yeah, but Janugo's really awesome. Yeah. I, I love Janugo. I think he's one of the coolest monsters ever. I ha I used to have his armor in um, 3 Ultimate, or Troll Ultimate, but it was high rank, and now I'm in G rank. So I'm trying to get the regular and the Stygian Zenogre armor. Nice. I'll so, <laughs> you will soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay, Irvin. It's a. It's a. I know what it looks like. It's an ultimate thing. <laughs> it's an ultimate thing. <laughs> wow. Pretty cool drinks. Alright, do I have any cool drinks? Awesome. Are you, like, coming? Let's see. I have three. Uh, three dragon hammers. Alright. I have one ice hammer. Do you sell your equipment? Do I? Yeah. Not in this game. I don't know why. I don't sell any of my equipment ever. I sell a lot of monster materials, but never equipment. Yeah. Irvin, your favorite monster. And why? Favorite monster. Uh. Wait, wait, hold on. That's a hard one. I, <laughs> I think. Oh man, this is a hard question, man. I it would probably be the Rathalos because why? <laughs> like I thought it was like when I first started playing Monster Hunter, it was like the first monster that looked like a generic dragon per se, right? And like it was just really strong and really difficult, especially uh, in Free Night where he used to just like run really fast and used to like fly all the time and you could like never catch it but then uh before the third came and like the moves changed a little but still those been one of my favorites i think it just looks badass and then when it comes to like elder dragons i think i can towards my favorite one just because once again it just looks really awesome and then fighting is really fun especially with gun lands yeah how much you want to? Um, hmm. what are we fighting again? The Crimson Kurapeko with the. Ah, oh, that's right. And we'll get um, hmm. That's actually yeah, I agree with Urban. That is a hard question. My favorite monster would probably have to be Devil Joe because. As you can see by my armor, 
I'm kind of the <laughs> Devil Joe King. Getting twice, man. And plus, speed eating is my prime skill. And I don't feel natural without it. And it's just because it's like when you see Devil Joe, people get scared. People these days are afraid of something so ferocious and Dude, Devil Joe. Man eating. Like, Dude, YOLO. I don't like like I don't like seeing Devil Joe just appear out of nowhere. Yeah, like when you're in a when you're in a quest and you're just trying to gather yeah, some Yeah, you're just trying to gather some ores, maybe some get some rusted Rush shards and whatnot. Finding your Kuro Paco and I don't know where Devil Joe pops up. And then all of a sudden, Devil Joe digs out of the ground and tries to eat you. I love that. I love I love the fear yeah. factor in Devil Joe, and uh, you know that's why I have his armor in Try, Try Ultimate, and Portable Third. <sighs> and my favorite Elder Dragon would probably have to be a Latrion, even though it can be soloed in apparently six minutes, which I don't believe. <laughs> but um Alatrion because um he's such a hard monster to fight. Oh man. Except except if you solo it in like 6 minutes. <laughs> but uh I remember one day me and Irvin were hanging out at school and trying to hunt some Alatrions and it didn't really work well because oh, we would be murdered every other second. Yeah. Like, you got to that point where Latrion was the only monster I had never killed before in all the Monster Hunter games that I played. And it was just getting really annoying. I tried, like, every weapon. I tried everything until one day he's like, awesome, like, yeah, I'll help you out. So I think the first time we beat it, we were both gun lancing. Yeah. And that's the first time we... Roman. What? Roman. Oh, yeah, dude. You got a Roman hat. Yeah. But another reason I love um, Latrion is because of... He's a multi-element monster. It's called... Uh, Alatrion is also known as the Elder Dragon of Disasters. It's because it's elements that oh, it uses... it's so cute! It's... <laughs> what? It's so How cute! I never bought this one before, Ashton. <laughs> it's so cute! I, I don't even think he's here anymore. Raw. <laughs> ah, it's scary! <laughs> this hammer has a green sharpness and I am bouncing like crazy. That's why. Okay, anyway, why as you were saying, Austin. Oh, yeah, that armor has a. ESP. Fencing. It's called fencing in this game. It's also called fencing in. Oh, Choltimate? Um, yeah, in Choltimate. Well, I, I believe so, but I'm not totally sure. Well, my favorite Elder Dragon, since I didn't say mine, I would have to say it's Kashala. Yes! Kashala! Well, for the one reason is that I always thought that, like, monsters that use, like, air, or, like, anything that has to use air is pretty fucking tight. They should introduce that, like, air element, you know? Like, yeah. there's a manga about Monster Hunter called Monster Hunter Ohash. Ohash means, uh, wind in French. And oh really? That's cool. In that in that. that manga, like the plot was to find was it was about like the main character has dual blades with wind element, and everyone's like, "What the heck, wind? Like, there's no wind." Yeah, like, there's no wind in Monster Hunter. Yeah, and that's like the only like wind thing that I've like come across. But that's actually a like, cool idea if they would do that. I think it would open up like a lot of cool new opportunities. But then that would also mean they would have to make new monsters for, like, you know, that fly. And then maybe, if, like, later on after Monster Hunter 4, now that, like, the jumping ability has been incorporated. Yeah. Maybe. And that uh, Kashala Deora is now in the game. Yeah. And then, like, maybe they can introduce some kind of, like, flying battle. Like, oh, like maybe, yeah, that, maybe you're, like, on a limp pretty... or something. Like, similar to, like, if you were chasing Jen on the boat. Hey, guys, the mini Ergon is here. Oh, snap. It's so adorable! Yeah, might as well. Ah. But yeah, I, I agree with you, Irvin. Yeah, like, maybe... But yeah, Kashala Dora is one yeah. of my favorite, and the first time I ever fought it, I was just thinking, how do I How do this? I get close to it? I, I can't get yeah, it. Yeah, I can't even hit it. It's like, dude! And then it was like, oh, use poison. I'm like, well, I don't have poison, YOLO. And then when I first <laughs> killed it, I was just like, I feel so accomplished. I love this monster. 
Yeah, I actually I made his I made his armor and his high rank armor in Freedom Knight. And I was at that spot where I was stuck and I couldn't find a Daora Oh wait Daora cancel. Jewel uh -huh. or gem. Mm -hmm. And it was like one of the most aggravating times in my life. No oh no no. Remember the Akantor story, Austin? Oh yeah. Where one day I'm like, hey, I should finish my Akantor armor for once. And that day, I formed like eight Akantors, like back to back. Mm -hmm. Not a single spike. I needed two spikes to finish the armor set. I formed eight Akantors by myself that one day, or like back to back, in like one afternoon. And not a single spike. I mean, it just made me so mad. I remember... After that happened, you and me fought an account and the cantor, and I got oh, three spikes. I knocked out, yeah, I knocked out a second. I'm still trying to get that ur again. I am too. Should we all just go for the ur again? And oh, he's coming at you. He's coming at you, bros. He's coming at you, bro. Versus. Go hunting. Go hunting. Uh, Dude, no, I'm not no. even hitting him anymore. I'm just bouncing off of him. Ah. Oh, sorry, dude. No. Oh, hey. I don't don't hit the uh the curve pack go anymore. It's almost in. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh no, mini Ergon's gonna go do his steamroll thing. That's so horrible. I'm so scared. He's like, you can usually see him when he's off there. Oh, hey, there he is. He's rolling? Oh. Is he rolling in the... Oh, my God! <laughs> what the... What? That was like so oh, the hedgehog. It's like, what? Like, oh, my God. That was so fast. It rolls at the same speed as a regular giant Aragon would. Really? That was just so fast. It was like... Having Sonic the Hedgehog in a Monster Hunter game. It's just like, what? You know it's a chin pound attack? Where it just yeah. rains its chin into the ground? That is also the same hitbox size as regular Urgon. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, but, um, oh, I'm sorry. Oh wow, I, I died. Yeah, I should. A lot of deaths. Oh wow. Well, it's only been one. Oh, not okay. Dead. Yeah, only one, so it, it's not that bad. Wow, I didn't see that one coming. Okay, but, um, let's see. What's one of your favorite things that you like in Monster Hunter? Um, let's go with that. What do you mean? Like, um, what's your what's your favorite aspect that Monster Hunter gives? I'll tell um, you, one of one of them is definitely not the people you would play the, play with online. <laughs> oh, definitely. It's like I know I'm a noob and people just want to help. I mean, I'm not a noob anymore. But we, if you're if you're a new player to Monster Hunter, people are so rude. They're so mean. It's like you can't play in this server because you're not good enough. It's like meta game almost like. You need to have this weapon, this armor set, or else, you know. Yeah, you have, you have to be this. Oh, and my biggest pet peeve on online is when, yeah, we're doing one monster, and somebody's like, hey, can we do another one? <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, welcome to a Lucky Acres room. Let's fight Baryon. Like, no, like, seriously. Like, I was doing, um, Koropeko when I was making Koropeko armor, and everything, because I was just like, I hate Koropeko in Troll Ultimate. But anyway, and this guy was like, purple loot drop. I'm like, dude, no. It's like, do you Coral know Pecco. where are right now? Purple loot drop. Coral Pecco. It's like, don't, do you understand English? Maybe he did it. Maybe like, he's somewhere else. Even though he actually spoke English. English. Right. No. No, it is. It is? Yeah. It is. Yeah. I'm very, yeah, it's, yeah, it is. I'm still fighting the Aragon, guys. I am going wherever you are going. But um, to answer your question, Austin, the one I find the, the thing that, so. keep, that attracts me from Monster Hunter, that thing is different than other games, 
is a way that you kill a monster and you craft it. You craft like to make armors and weapons. I think that's the coolest part about Monster Hunter. Making weapons. That it's also one of the hardest parts. Yeah. It is. Like, I like the fact that like you're like, oh that monster looks really cool. And then like being able to like make armor that looks like the monster. Yeah. And weapons that kinda look like they're made from the monster. I think that's one of the coolest things that you don't see in many games nowadays. No. There are there yeah. aren't many games that, you know, give you a choice and preference on where to take your story in this game. Well, yeah, like, this game is not very story based at all. And then like you think about it, you're well, ba basically it's you're crafting your own. Yeah, your character your character doesn't level up. So it's, your, it just depends on how well can you... Your experience how, does. How well, yeah, your experience does. And that's one of the things about Monster Hunter. A lot of people complain, like, oh, it's getting easier. You know, like, after a while it just becomes easier. Like, no, you just become too experienced that, you know? Yeah, it, it's, it doesn't Certain become monsters, easier, you just, just become like, too oh. good. <laughs> because, like, when you're yeah. starting out, Monster Hunter is very different. Like, um... Like when you're attacking a monster, the attacks don't come immediately. You have to wait for the whole animation of the strike to come. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot that's what throws a lot of people off at the beginning. The fact that like everything that you do takes so long, like drinking a potion. Yeah. And like sharpening. And all just the little animations that take forever. And that's one yeah. of the things that's really different different about Monster Hunter. And you know, like eventually you just become like used to it. It yeah. doesn't bother you at all. But you know, Monster Hunter Try had a pretty good story, but they never really went into it much. Basically, like, um, you're in Moga Village because yeah, there was a huge earthquake and um, they suspected it was the monster called uh, the, Leg the Legiacris, the King of the Seas and all that stuff. But, um, and basically you, basic uh, you hunt all the time and learn the ways of a hunter to basically defeat the Legiacris and uh, hopefully um, return peace to the village. But uh, after you beat the Legiacris, you learned that it wasn't really the Legiacris causing the earthquakes, but it was a much bigger monster Cideus. called the Cideus, and it, uh, you basically uh, train once again through many different monsters. And, gaining crucial experience, and then you take down the Cideus. And yeah. that's the story of... Um, oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. And that's the story of Monster to Try. Isn't, like, I've heard that in Portable 3rd, Moga Village was sunk by Cideus. Yeah. Monster, or, um... In Portable 3rd, that's... Oh, portable, portable 3rd is basically, like, a different side note. It's basically, like, this is what happened after... Um, Moga Village was, was sunk by Cideus. It's like The Legend of Zola. Oh, it's like, drink hey, cool drink. <laughs> it's like, hey, the hero of time was defeated, therefore it goes off into this alternate tangent. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what Portable 3 is. Oh, oh man, they just came out of nowhere. Is the, uh, the Kurapeko still here? Is it ready to be trapped? I don't know. Now, Ashton. Yeah. If we're going to try and trap it, you know uh, how hard it is like to hit it. a mini monster with uh, tranquilizer bombs. I'm not trying to capture uh, it. I'm trying to kill it. I'm thinking putting it in a trap would be easier. Ow! I'm sorry! Oh, jeez, what hit me? Ashton Fuck oh, you. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Okay. Aww. But, um, yeah. I, did, I actually did not know that. You learn something new every day. You play Monster Hunter. Yeah, you play Monster Hunter. You learn things. Ash. Oh, wow. Get over here. Oh, man. Trap. <laughs> I love that. Oh, wait. Trap. What? That is not cool. You, wanna, you guys want to know how this is going to go? One of us is going to hit him. The other two people are going to be Fling. flinging away. I did it first. Uh, 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 you missed. Uh, we're just taking turns being flung. Yeah. 
Well, I didn't get the Yeah. It, 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 no, it comes with it, so. Where were we going? He's coming on again. Oh, hey, he's dead. Oh, sweet. Yay. Cool. He that did. took a lot longer yeah, than it should have. Oh, 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 yeah, Perfect. that took cool. a lot longer. Do the tour? There's that. Okay. What, whatchamacallit? Do the tour? They're yeah. like everywhere. There's only one on my screen, and it's hitting me. There's only one on my screen. Yeah. Alright, now where is that for a Peko at? Um, probably. Hold on. Uh, Wait a minute, I don't have any cycle series. I'm gonna I'm gonna check area six. Uh, I I um psycho serum. Follow me. Yeah, L four. Okay. Oh hey guys, here again, Jim. Oh. Good. Really? I didn't even no, I'm ki I'm kidding. There was no Ergen. I That's wanted to see your reaction, and your reaction was funny. Wow. Thanks a lot. Alright, here we go. Back to the main point of the quest. Fighting yeah. the main Maybe Sponsored. we can hit him. Ah! Somewhere <laughs> over the Crimson Corbeco. Yeah, that's where we're going. I'm going to throw the Urgon, but no Urgon's here. Devil Joe comes in that way. Oh god, if it was a mini Devil Joe, that'd be I would, the funniest and most horrible thing ever. I would take that and keep it as my pet. You already killed so many of them, so why? I'd, I'd, I'd call it... I'd be like, I am your father. Mini me. Like, I am your father. Z. Oh, Z. Do you not see this armor? I am your father. I am made of you. Your parents, I am wearing them. <laughs> That'll definitely make it, you know, do whatever you want. I'll teach it oh, the ways of the down. monster force. That was kind of awesome, but I'm sorry, Ashley. Urban, no! What? There's a mini? Another one? Oh, yeah, there is another There's another one! The oh, whoa! Oh, wow. Oh, I thought you were the Urgon. Wow. <laughs> Mistaking me in I'm full so double sorry. Joe armor for an Urgon. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hey, Ashley, how do you feel? Uh, pretty good, actually. I'm so surprised. I didn't think there'd be another Urgon incoming. I know. Whoa! It's Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. I didn't think there'd oh, be a Oh, it's about to... Limp. Limp. Oh, if I had my lance, I could have charged it. You'd go so far ahead. I know. You here again? <laughs> it just went <laughs> perfectly and, like, went Gotta around. Gotta go fast! Gotta go faster, faster, no. faster! No. No. Get him. Faster. Get him. Get him. Ah. Oh, my gosh. I was gonna hit him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, hit him, hit him. We're hitting him. No. We're hitting him. Hit him. Get him more! Get him more! No! Oh, damn. damn it! It's all your fault! How is it my it's fault? It's all your fault! Hey, hey. It's all your fault. You wanna fight the mini Urgan again? No. Oh, now you good, I don't either. Where's the core of I think it went up to the, the where the Urgon usually goes. Is it Urgon or Urgan? Just like, is it Raffalo? Hey, which or one? Oh, I found it! Or Raytheon or Raytheon? I think it's whatever people prefer. Tomato, tomato. Your fault. Dude. Dude, it's bro. Sif. We'll get the last hit. Ah, ah, we'll so get the last hit. Who Corpeca. will get the last hit? No. Ah. No. <laughs> you see a bunch of like elemental damage going. There's like water, dragon, and ice. 
Oh, who got it? Yeah! I think I got it. Who got the, who got the last hit? I think I got it. I don't, I don't think we all hit it. I don't, I don't think so. No. Come back, Austin. No! No! no. Don't start with no. the finish. Ugh. Monster Bone Plus. Ah! <laughs> oh, hey, read that point. Or Banabra. Wow. Okay. You guys want to do a gen? I really want to do a gen. For Shamora? Okay. And should that, should that be that. the last. Uh... No, 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 Urban, Urban. Oh, you need a car still? Yeah, I need one left. Oh, really? It'd be a shame if something were to happen. Oh no, it'd be a shame if I already got my car. <laughs> no! Alright, so Jean Moran sound okay? Yeah. Yeah. You should at least do one more right after it, if it doesn't take that How long. How long has it been so far? Um, no, I don't know. I'm no, having too much guess, fun. Like so. half an hour. I'm, I'm having too much fun, so I, I don't know. Okay, uh, we could we could we could probably just do Gen Moran and then finish it off there. Yeah. Okay. Gold Crown Aragon, okay. guys. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Smallest. I've done this quest before, and that one was smaller than the previous one. Yeah, it's weird. Okay. So. <sighs> Ow. So what's everybody's favorite anime? What? Anime? What's everybody's favorite anime? Oh. Or animes? Um. Well, I grew up with Dragon Ball Z, so that's like that's a, like the very top. Would you pick? But, would you but, count Yu-Gi-Oh as an anime? Yeah. Well, yeah, it was. It is. It's Japanese and it's a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I gotta say, yeah. Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, um, Gundam. <laughs> the Gundam series. Um, Tekken and Blade. Definitely Gundam. That was my anime. Well, like I grew up with Dragon Ball Z, so I don't really count it as like one of my favorites. It's just so up there on the list that I don't think it's fair to the rest of the anime to include it in the list. Yeah, like it's so good, you don't think it's fair to include it? Yeah, and then like at the moment, Naruto is what I'm really into. A lot of people hate on Naruto because it's like it's like one of the big three, you know, One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto, and it's like mainstream, whatever. But you know. I've liked it since it came out when, like, back when I was ten. Yeah. Remember back in the good old days when we were ten? Well, when I was ten, you were not ten. You were, you were six. Deep. Good old days. Back in the good old days. Yeah. Ashton, what's your favorite anime? My favorite anime. Well, I have to put like DBZ and Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. Well, if you consider that anime. Yes. And like, yes. well, I, it really depends on whatever whatever person thinks it. But um, I actually one of my favorite animes that I love to death is called Aquarion. Nice. And its sequel, Aquarion Evil, is brilliant beyond belief. It, it, I had so many moments where I actually cried for the characters because I thought they died, and then once I saw them again, I was just like, <gasps> Dang, manly oh tears. My God. Dude, the feels. I, I sh the anime feels. I, all the anime feels. I also really it like just this one anime that's fairly old called Beck, Mongolian Chop Squad. Nice. It's about. Oh, Beck. It's about I a love band. Beck. And, like. It's not your usual. Yeah, like it's not bloody like, gory anime. It's about music. And it's a music anime. It's not like K on, which just claims to be a music anime, which is a bunch of about, it's about a bunch of girls sitting around eating cake and drinking tea. No, this. Yeah. Hold on, I'm getting no. Um, yeah. So Beck is um, one of my favorite stuff ever. It's definitely got songs that will make you tear many tears. Dude. I, lo I love all their songs. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I think I have a few on my iPod, but I don't know. That phone is so... But, yeah. Dude, no. 
<laughs> I can't start that right now. <laughs> it feels too strong. <laughs> Alright, second up the question. One of my one anime that I watched as a kid and was like the weirdest, most messed up anime ever, and still is, is a um Fooly Cooly. Fooly Cooly. Oh, I, oh my god. When I first watched coolie. that, I was so confused. Because like I was little when I first watched that. And you're just confused like, okay, so like there's a thing on his forehead and like what there's a robot now. <laughs> the first like, episode what? I saw, I think I was uh, this girl with a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was like, a, what? Like, this is cool. Six or Robots. six to eight years old is when I saw the first episode. And it was so weird because it's like this girl with weird pink hairs on a motorcycle and she all of a sudden she's dressed up like Elvis. No, and isn't she's she on a motorcycle? And spinning her arms with a guitar like Elvis. And then the other girl. Um, yeah, and she's like, the, she's playing the, a game. The other that, girl, no, the, like, the girl with the uniform that like was now does. Um, older brother's girlfriend she's like pedophile status yeah. harassing this little kid it's like all of a sudden a giant tower comes out of his forehead yeah and then like for some reason there's like a giant steam yeah. uh st like looks like an ironing like an ironing thing yeah like yeah a giant fist holding up an iron <laughs> i don't understand i don't understand no like bro i don't understand like in the anti dragon mom is your mom Alright, somebody click the ballista. There's more ballista. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Should we watch the preview or skip the preview? There's no preview. There is, there is no preview. preview. Uh -oh. Is there really? There's no preview. No, only in the in the village for the first time. Uh hey, hey. Yeah. Okay. I wish I had speed gathering on this set. Man, the ballista can I... Oh. Hey there it is! You look ugly. Call me always. Ain't coming. Well, technically, like, like Austin, you, you, we've seen um, Jen Moran and like, um, Trolltman. It looks pretty much the same. It is. It. It looks pretty much the same, but a, a little cleaner. A little cleaner. Yeah, like, like. Yeah, it looks a little bit cleaner because. Like, some of the graphics are updated and whatnot. And no! <laughs> Sandberry off armor is so cool, in my opinion. Urban, get out of my field of view. No, Urban! What's wrong? You're hitting me. No, I'm not. You just hit me. Lies! I'm trying to break his horns. I'll. I'll man the. You gonna gong him? Yeah. Okay. I have the, uh, the binder. Alright. No, Ash should know. No. Oh, no, someone... Get... Ash, no. Get, get the gong, get the gong. Come on, come on. Three, come on, more break. Three, there we go. Bong, gong him, gong him. I said bong him. Gong him style. Bong. Gong him style. Oh, um, yeah. I have to add both of those, I guess. Come on, break, horn. Yeah. What's everybody's favorite song? I don't know, I just... After hearing about Beck, I'm just like, you know what, I want to hear some like music. favorite Monster uh, Hunter song? Uh, hey, Binder, or Binder, song Binder in general. Binder now. Why? It's gonna attack... Song in general. Like that. Uh, like favorite Monster Hunter song, or just favorite just, song? Uh, let's favorite start song. with one. Even Monster Hunter song. What is only music that you prefer the most? Oh, he knocked me off. Please land on the ship. Please land on the ship. Yay! <laughs> you landed right above me. Right at the moment, I like metal. At the moment, metal. Yeah. I am a heavy metal guy myself. Mostly metalcore. Lately, I've been really like into this band called Crossfade. They're from Japan, Ooh. and I saw them a war tour this year. Oh, nice. And they signed with Dragon Ball Z. Really? Oh yeah, I saw that. They picture. got a That's... kick out of that. That's pretty sweet. But, yeah, it's like it's like your like typical metalcore, and um, they have a guy who does like synthesizers and like DJ stuff, and they use a bunch of industrial like dubstep sounds, and it sounds really awesome. And then I also that's pretty like, awesome. I'm like oh, a lot into like Japanese rock, like 
Like there's nice. a band called Flow. They made a bunch of like the openings from their Naruto series, especially like. Oh yeah, I love like, Flow. Oh my god. I love Flow. I have most of their songs. Also, on Aqua Times is good. They made a bunch of songs for Bleach. Oh yeah, really? And some style like Oreska band and Maximum the Hormone. No, nice. I like Maximum. Maximum. That's another nice. band. That's pretty cool. What about you guys? What about you guys, man? Um, Revenge Sevenfold, all the way. Oh, man. I love their stuff. Oh, and I've also gotten into, like, um, some bullet for my Valentine, but not really. Mm hmm. Anyway, back to this fight. This yeah. fight is significantly harder on trial to it. I think it's a lot easier in horrible third. Yeah, in in trial ultimate, the battle with Jen Moran is a lot harder than it seems. I'll take the. uh... He's not doing the dragon area. No, he isn't. But I'll take it when it gets to that time. Harpoon him. Yeah, actually, it really is harder. But when, but when you solo Harpoon. it, it's it's fun. <laughs> Where is he? Wait till he, he's, 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 wait till he comes a little further out though. Where? Wait till he gets closer. Here he is, here he is, here he is. Gotcha. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Somebody just completely missed. Jeez, <laughs> Dude. Man. But yeah. What about you, Austin? What about me? Music. Oh. Um. I usually don't talk about the kind of music that I like because nobody agrees with me, but you know, you guys said a lot of music that I like, so I'll basically go from there. Um, oh, hey. Oh, sweet! We broke the horn. horn. Uh, I like a lot of sweet. Um, uh, Japanese rock, like everyone does. Um, oh, I, I love that, too. I, I am a fan of dubstep, dead robot noises, because I love... Transformers having sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> okay. Did we just do, did we do, like, acapella, like, dubstep, Yeah, we, before this video started, uh, I, we're, we're recording this at my house right now, and I walk in and see, I walk into my game room and see, uh, Ash and Irvin harmonizing in a dubstep. Oh, it, oh a ultimate lag, oh my god. <laughs> but I like a lot of dubstep specifically because, hey, because, oh man, um... that frame rate slowed down so much. Yeah, it yeah, it's slowed. Because it's like, when you're in a very heated battle, in any game, a, a nice something, a nice music, that was really quick, a nice music, in my opinion, that goes along with the beat of the fight, makes the fight all the more epic. I'm gonna put down this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'll put, I'm gonna put one of them in his face. Oh yeah, so, really yeah. off topic. Yeah. So, Legend of Zelda, guys. Who loves it? What? Legend of Zelda. Legend, Legend of Zelda? Yeah, man. Favorite Legend of Zelda game and why? Uh, Monster Hunter Try Ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Oh. Favorite Legend of Zelda. No, um, Favorite Legend of Zelda game, uh, Arena. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> um, a lot of people say that Ocarina of Time is their favorite. I disagree. I did not enjoy the game nearly as much as the other ones like Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. I don't know if that did anything. I don't think it did. That did My do something. My favorite one was Twilight Princess. Oh, dude, I'm so with you on that one. I love Twilight Princess to no end. How is, how is Skyward Sword? Because I never played that one. Uh, well, I think I'm the only one here that actually has the game. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get it sometime, but not now. It's, uh, of, if, if I'm comparing it to all Zelda games, it's pretty bad. The motion controls, man, they're horrible. Whoa, what the heck? You just jumped... Is that, the, is that the only reason why you think it's bad? No, I mean... Um... The motion controls are bad, but, you know, Sorry. it's, I, jeez, Irvin, you're knocking me down. You're, I, Irvin! <laughs> you're flying over my screen. You're like climbing up his spine. You're like in midair. Dude, you're fine on my screen. 
one of the reasons I don't like Skyward Sword as much because I was hearing people talk about it they, that they were uh, finishing it in five hours, six hours, you know, no time at all. And you know, a different Zelda game like Ocarina of Time or Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, you gotta put a lot more time into that game to finish it. And I was hearing people finish it in Oh, there's a wiggle. Like half that's a the day. Wiggle. Jump. That's Jump. the dreaded wiggle. Uh, ooh, barely made it on. Oh, you got hit, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. But I'm still made out of this shit. Who wasted the gong? I shouldn't hit the gong. Where does he hit me? Uh, when he does that, the gong does not work. Oh, that's so... No, it yes. works. He, like, he got, like, um, recoiled and... So, yeah. Bye, Jen. Jump off. Oh, just broke his horn. But, uh, yeah, the reason why I like Twilight hey, Princess... His other one's broken. No, it's not. Yes, I just broke it. Yeah, not on my screen. Oh, on my screen. Yeah. Where's he gonna end up? Oh. Oh, we're entering the final showdown. We really? We didn't even gong him. Or, um, we didn't even get to use the Dragonator. Because we, like, did enough damage to it. Yeah, we're... But, yeah, so, for Twilight Princess... Wait, wait, no, Austin, what's your favorite Legend of Zelda game? We didn't hear that. Um, I gotta appreciate the classics of Legend of Zelda, you know, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. A lot of people didn't like Majora's Mask. I, for one, thought it was a good it. game. It was, the, uh, the uh, concept of Majora's Mask was very hard to grasp. Like the whole I, mask thing? Yeah, like the whole mask thing and the, uh, the days, like you had to use the Song of Time to reset three days and continue with your stuff. I thought that was a very good idea. I thought that was a cool thing to do, about the war. I'm trying to get him with the war stuff. But, uh, I, I liked Majora's Mask and I liked Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time is the Legend of Zelda game I spend most of my time on these days. I'll play it on my 3DS and I'm on my Wii. Um, if I had to go other than those two, uh, Wind Waker would definitely be, um, one of my favorites because, uh, it puts something into play that has never been um, shown in any Legend of Zelda game, and that is uh, the open sea, the boats. Dude, yes. That was one of my favorite yeah. parts, favorite features. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to get, like, Wind Waker HD for the Wii U. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's gonna happen. That's a thing. That is. That is yeah, it's gonna happen this winter. I believe, but I, I don't know. But I'll, I'll definitely get it. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry, Jen Moran. But yeah, the reason oh, wow. why I like Twilight Princess so much is Don't like, die. a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people say that it's trying way too hard to be dark, but what people don't realize is that it was supposed to be the sequel to, like, Wind Waker. It was supposed to be Wind Waker 2. Wait, what? Sorry, I and spaced out for a second. Yeah, Twilight Princess was supposed to be Wind Waker 2. Really? Yeah. Twilight Princess is just basically a hyped up version of like the of Wind Waker, of the Wind Waker engine. It sounds more like Ukraine at Time to me, or like it looks like the story. Yeah, I don't I don't get what you mean when you say off when you say Wind Waker too. I don't. In the development for Twilight Princess, it was originally supposed to be Wind Waker two, like the sequel, the direct sequel to Wind Waker, like the game, everything. But what, by the time they like were trying to make it, they didn't, the sales for Wind Waker were not that good. So they decided to make a more realistic like art style of Legend of Zelda, which came up to Twilight Princess. But like different aspects of like Wind Waker are actually still in the coding of Twilight Princess. Like I think there's, I think they have maybe a boat function in there, but I don't, I'm not totally sure, like I've read up about it, but not completely, but yeah, Twilight Princess was actually supposed to be the sequel to Wind Waker. No, we broke yeah. both of his arms. We broke everything. Yeah. Both spots on his back, both horns, both, would you say those are arms or legs? Arms. Arms. Leg arms. I say arms, because like, you get them as arms and rewards. Oh, do I? I never knew that, because I can't read Japanese. Japanese. I can't read Japanese. Oh 
Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna run. If he gets close enough to the ship, digs on drag me. Alright. Not if I can help it. Not if I can help you help it. Our ship's power is at 85%. So far away. <laughs> yeah, I know it's like but, so yeah. far. Urban, what's your favorite aspect of Twilight Princess? Let's uh, delay the inevitable. <laughs> uh, hold on. One sec. Um. I harpooned him. Twilight Princess? Well, like, yeah. I was one of those people who really enjoyed, like, just riding around Hyrule Field. I like riding around Hyrule Field and, like, using a bow and taking, like, the. What are they called? Goldens? 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 Huh? I, yeah. I, I think. I, oh. I just call the it the bad I, I think enemy goblins. guys. They Moblins? Boblins, I think that's what it was. Boblins, yeah, Boblins. I, I like I just like riding so. around on the horse. Epona! I just like riding around using my bow and arrow, especially in a Wii, because like the motion controls made the bow and arrow that much more fun. I've never actually played Twilight Princess on the Wii, and I... Oh man, you're missing out. I mean, I played it on the game, I, I, I it, beat, but for the longest time I was never aware that motion controls... Twilight Princess were actually... I didn't know that was actually a thing. Hey, we did it. Yeah. And I killed it. Oh, me and Irving killed it. The we killed it. He landed on top of me, too. Yeah, dude. Hey, we did it. Woo! The inside of its mouth looks weird. But yeah, I, I do. I have the Wii version of it, but I've beaten both versions of it, like the GameCube version and the Wii version, because I love them so much. I just need to find uh, the GameCube version, then I'll be totally set. How many cards does this monster be? Like, like or nine. Uh, well, counting the sigils on his back, it probably gives a lot more. Hey, 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 We're hey, inside hey, hey, of him. Who's kicking me? Dude, dude, I, I need my cars. Oh, hey, uh... Damn it! And this time I am being serious. Damn it! Eat Dragon Gem? No. Um... What do you call it? Uh, Gem or Jewel. Dragon Gem. Oh, and this was hiring. No. Nope. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Well, should we uh, end yeah. it here? Uh, yeah, seems a good spot. Yeah, it seems like a good spot. All right, so uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. It has been a very fun time. What do you guys say for next time we record? Are we going to be in this game, or are we going to be in Free Me Night, or something completely different? I think we should just make it a surprise. Yeah. How about that? Prepare for disappointment, viewers, because it's probably going to be the same game. Yeah. Okay. But thank you for all. Thank you from all of us. Thanks for watching, man. Mm -hmm. And I swear. Let's that all, let's all, let's all wave. We'll get the game capture running, so we won't have to use the camcorder. We'll bring quality, quality. Our quality will be quality. Waving. We promise. Join me, Irvin. Join. Join, Austin. Join. The waving. To the okay, audience. Well, I'm in full Japanese, so I need to figure out which which one is wave. Uh, gesture. It's one, two, three, four, fifth one down. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for thank you for all of us watching. If you liked this and you want to see more. Please like and subscribe to Brosips Go Hunting Cast. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to say? Um, I've been Austin. I'm Urban. I'm Ashton. And we will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching and bye bye. Bye bye. I'm done with. <laughs>